Hey, so welcome to the Robot Framework setup for Mac. Um, this is a step-by-step -step process to get you up and running quick and easy um, on your Mac. So today we're going to run through very fine Python. Um, Python does come uh, already installed on your Mac, but we're just going to check that that's there. Install the Robot Framework. Um, from there, we're moving on to WebDriver for Chrome. We're going to install uh, the WebDriver for Firefox as well. And then finally, uh, get you up and running with uh, IDE. In this case, it's PyCharm. So stand by, let's get into this, uh, get some stuff done, eh? Okay, so step number one, we're just going to verify that we do have Python and PIP on our Mac. Now, by default, Mac uh, does come installed with Python 2 and that's the version that we're after just be aware there is a Python 2 and a Python 3 uh, Python 2 that's just more compatible with the robot framework libraries so let's just do that um, here's the command we're going to type Python space dash capital V and that's going to give us the version number if it exists there and we can see that, that's the, the one we're after, 2.7.13. And we're going to do the same with pip. Gives us the version. And we can see that it's, uh, yeah, correctly installed on our machine, all ready to go. So those are the prerequisites. Um, now we can start going ahead with installing the robot framework. So let's, uh, let's get started. Okay, so step number two, this is where we get to install Robot Framework and the Selenium 2 library. So let's just jump into this with the command pip install robot framework. There we go. And that's pretty quick. Yeah, there we go, successfully installed. 3.0.2, so that's great. Now we can install the Selenium 2 library there. Just copy out that command, there we go. Hit return, and that's uh, successfully installed as well. You can see down here. Now very quickly, uh, I'll take you to the pypy.python.org and we can see uh, all the libraries that are available for robot framework so that's worth checking out like I say we've just installed the Selenium 2 library for now but uh, have a browse through that um, feel free to install what you what you like at this stage but for us we're just going to stick with Selenium 2 for now Okay, we're up to step number three. Uh, this is where we get to install Chrome Selenium WebDriver. Now, all we need to do is go to the Selenium HQ and we'll just go and download it. So here we are, seleniumhq.org slash download. Scroll down the page. And we're after Google Chrome Driver and we can click on the latest uh, version which is 2.29 at the time of this recording we're after this here which is the Chrome driver and we'll click to download that to our downloads folder just unzip that and there we go we've got Chrome driver downloaded now we need to put that into um, user slash local slash bin. If I click on the finder, op open up a new window there, hit shift command G and type in user slash local slash bin and that will take us to the folder where we need to um, put that file. So that's where it's going and we can just drag it over put it into the bin it's going to ask us to authenticate it click authenticate 
I've already had one in there before, so I'm just going to replace that. It's asking for a password, and there we can see the Chrome driver is now sitting in our user's local bin. And that's us for step three. Now we're up to installing the Firefox Selenium web driver. So we're just gonna start with um, Chrome and Firefox for now. We're on a Mac, um, we can get a little bit more tricky down the track. But let's keep this really simple. Um, we're gonna head over to Selenium HQ again, same page we were before, and this time we're gonna uh, click on the Mozilla Gecko driver, download that, get that uh, working. And in fact, it does go into the same folder um, that the other one went into. So over to selenium.org, same page we were before, and we'll scroll down. And we're after Mozilla Gecko Driver. And we can uh, click on the latest version number. And this is where we pick up the file from. So make sure you click on the Mac OS version and we're going to click on that and download it. It's all happening now as we speak. And I'm just going to click on that from my Chrome browser and that, that's unzipped it for us as well. So that's cool. And again, we're just going to use that command shift command G go to the user slash local slash bin just like we did before we're gonna drag it into that folder there we go again just click authenticate it's gonna ask us for our password and there we go we can see that that's now in that folder as well Chrome driver and Gecko driver so we're looking good let's continue with this okay it looks like we're up to step number five now we're getting through this we're nearly done in fact um, so we just need to install a uh, IDE or a text editor or something to write our um, robot framework commands and tests so I'm going to talk you through or walk you through this PyCharm installation pretty simple so let's head, head over to JetBrains there we go, jetbrains.com, IDEs, PyCharm, click on that, there we go, it's lo loaded the page. Click on the download now button, and we've got two versions here, the professional and the community version. This is the free version, let's just go with that for now. Click download, and there we go takes a little while so have a sip of your coffee put your feet up take it easy we've done a lot of uh, good stuff today um, it's time to relax because we're almost done feeling good and there we go it's downloaded let's click on that it should do some magic it's verifying There we go, and we can drag that into the applications folder. Here we go, it's copying it over. Nice work. And let's just get rid of that window. Into applications. PyCharm. Now it's going to try and open. Right, it's saying can't be open because it's from an unidentified developer. That's okay. We just open up our preferences, system preferences. There we go. Tap the security and privacy link. And we're just going to say here, PyCharm C was blocked, but we're just going to say open it anyway. It's fine. There we go. Open. 
and now Pai Charm is opening up for us. There we go. It's best just to go with the default setting, so I'm just going to click OK here. Read those privacy policy conditions. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a speed reader. There we go. Yeah, accept that. That's cool. Again, I'm just going to go with the default settings there. That should be all fine. And we can create a new project. Click that button. Can add here test project and create. Comes up with tips. And we'll just close this window down. Okay. So now what I want to do is just change the theme of uh, PyCharm. So I'm going to go to um, Preferences. And you'll see here the theme is on default at the moment. I'm just going to simply change that to Darkula. It's just a better on my eyes. I prefer the darker um, themes. So there we go. And preferences and plugins is our next port of call click browse repositories and we want a robot framework plugin called intellibot intellibot there we go it's this one here click on that and we're going to install that doing its thing and that is downloaded I think by the looks so we're good we've got our uh, ID e all ready to go and uh, it's pretty much it for this so we're all done and dusted um, hope you got a lot of value from those tutorials subscribe if you're wanting to uh, see some more from me give me a like um, and if you're interested, pop over to my website. I've got some free resources for you over there. Um, look forward to seeing you. Bye for now.